Yo guys, what's up? It's Dave, the Open Source Gangster here, and it is 2014 and I am super excited because I have a lot of great content to show you this year. I have been reading a lot of your messages and a lot of your comments, and I really want to show you the content that you want to see. So what better way to kick this off than to talk about how to install SteamOS via VirtualBox. Now, a few weeks ago, I did do a, a slight overview on SteamOS, and I'm going to be quite frank with you. Unless you have a dying reason to install this, just install the Steam application and launch in big picture mode, then that's pretty much it, because that's all SteamOS is at this point. But I know some of you out there like a good challenge, so let's talk about installing SteamOS via VirtualBox. Now, before we get started with this tutorial, I just want to mention that this tutorial was made through the help of several guides that I found over at the Steam community, which I'll provide a link to down below. And to do this, you will need to have a decently powered computer along with 50GB of hard drive space. And that's it, so let's get to it. Step 1. Download the Steam ISO file. I'll provide a link to it on my blog, so go over there and download it. Alright, so step 2. First what we want to do is we want to open up VirtualBox. After you open up VirtualBox, you go up here and create a new virtual machine. You can call it anything you like, I'm just going to call it Steam OS. Change the type to Linux, and change the version to Debian 64-bit. So let's go up here, there we are, it's Debian 64-bit, and select Next. Alright, so I would say allocate it at least 1 gig of RAM, depending on your computer, you can allocate it more. Um, I have 16 gigs available, so I'm going to give it 4096 uh, megabytes of RAM. Now let's create a new virtual hard drive. So go to create, create a VDI, next. Now you can choose to create a dynamically allocated hard drive or a fixed size. I think dynamically allocated is better just so you don't waste the time and you know create a whole 500 gigabyte hard drive when you really don't need one or a 500 gigabyte file size. So I'm just click dynamically allocated and we're gonna call it SteamOS. Um, I'm gonna say for maximum file size, let's say go all the way up here. I'm gonna go all the way to like 51 gigs. Um, and let's save it in my A drive, storage, save. Alright, so given the maximum file size, I'll say maybe around 50 gigs should be sufficient. Go to create. Alright, so once this is created, let's go up here to settings and let's adjust a few things. So, first, what we wanna do is go to system. And make sure EFI is enabled, and we can disable floppy right there. We don't really need that. Um, processor, um, we we can keep it to one processor. Uh, once again, I can I'm just going to select two quadcron here, make life a little bit easier. Go down to display. I'm gonna give it the maximum video RAM there is, one monitor counts, and we keep all that same. For storage, this is the most important part. Go down here, and we're gonna actually go up here, select, choose disk. Let's select the location of the ISO, which is right over here. So choose the location of your Steam ISO. Make sure you have that selected, and then hit OK. Alright, so once you have that, you're ready to boot up. Let's go up here to start. Alright, so after you get to this screen, what you want to do is type in the following command. And like I said, I'm taking this right from the Steam Community Guide, so big thanks to them. So type in fs0 colon backslash efi backslash boots all capitals backslash boot again for zero and hit enter it's going to give you that error prefix is not set and it's going to take you to the grub menu automated install and here we are it's going to start to install process there's a little freeze up between the started so just be patient like I said it, it took a little second um but just be patient. All right, so once you get to this part, what we want to do is go down here where it's the finish, finish installation and select continue. It's going to finish the installation and it's going to reboot. 
on reboot, make sure you go down here into recovery mode. Now from inside recovery mode, now from inside of recovery mode, what we need to do is we need to remove the NVIDIA packages because you know SteamOS only officially supports NVIDIA graphics cards and obviously VirtualBox is not using NVIDIA. So type in apt get purge NVIDIA dot asterisk quotation and hit enter. It's going to ask, do we want to get rid of that? Yes. Hit Y for yes. It's going to remove all the NVIDIA packages. All right, now let's recreate the configuration file. Type in dpkg reconfigure dot xorg, enter. You won't get any type of notification or anything, but you just know that it did complete. All right, now we need to install the guest VirtualBox guest editions. So, to do that, go up to here to the top and select devices and go to insert guest edition CD image and at the bottom here you see that little image thing pop up now what we can do is in mount hit enter it's going to say it's already mounts are busy so if it does just type it in again and then you're going to get that read only warning if you get that, then you're good. So type in sh forward slash media forward slash cd rom forward slash vbox dot run. Hit enter. And it's going to begin installing Linux conditions. All right. And once that completes, type in reboot. And it is going to send the reboot signal. And here we are, we're rebooting. Now, what we can do is we're going to actually boot up into SteamOS. So let's keep it, select that option. Okay, now we are in a desktop. So for login, type in Steam for the username. And make sure you're on a GNOME session. Then type in Steam for the password. Hit enter. We are right now at the Linux desktop. And like I said, we're right now at the Steam desktop, or I should say just in Debian Linux in general. So now what we need to do is we actually need to open up Steam. So go to Applications, go to Terminal, type in Steam, accept the UEULA, and it's going to install the Steam update. All right, now when you use log into existing account, type in their Steam name. All right, and that's cool. We're logged in. It works. We're good. We just confirmed it. Okay, so the second part of Valve's installation instruction requires you to run a script and boot back into Steam. However, I found this to be buggy when using VirtualBox and pretty much pointless because all it does is launch you into SteamOS without the Linux desktop. So long story short, from here, just launch Steam in big picture mode from the Debian desktop and you're using the full SteamOS experience. And there you have it. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask down below. And as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another guidance video. Thanks.